to the Combat Carpal Vlog number four. And it's certainly great to be back out of the bank doing a little bit of filming. I've had all sorts of dramas going on in my life. I've had uh, a new boiler being installed in my house, which is just growing arms and legs. And uh, work has been very, very busy. We've been dealing with the King's Coronation, and there's been other things that have taken up quite a lot of my time. So fishing has been quite restricted for me so far this spring. But we are back out, and once again, we're down here at Linear Fisheries, back on the Guy Syndicate. And we are on Yeoman's Lake. Now, when I arrived, I did want to jump onto Gaunt's, but the fish have started spawning uh, overnight and into this morning. And it's a bit of a shame, but you know, you've got to let nature run its course. And we're going to give them a good two, three weeks before we jump back on there because I, I absolutely loved my fishing on Gaunt's last summer, and it's somewhere I'm going to be spending a lot of my time again this year. So, as I mentioned, we are here on Yeoman's, and when I was having a walk around the lake, it was not difficult to find the fish. They're just absolutely everywhere and mega, mega active. Um, so it made deciding where I wanted to go uh, a little bit tricky. So I decided to set up in quite a central swim and initially I've gone in with three six because the fish are quite high up in the water um, and they're very, very active, you know, mouthing little pieces of uh, fluff on the surface. So we we'll try and nick a quick bite during the day before we start uh, fishing on the bottom. Potentially tonight, you know, I might stay on the zigs, but uh, we'll see how the session progresses. But for now, I'm quite happy with what we're doing. So see how we get on. I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. and it's been really frustrating. Quite literally watch the fish swim right past them. You know, they're only six to 12 inches underneath the, uh, the very, very top of the water. Um, <laughs> almost watching the fish laugh at me as if to say they're not gonna pick up uh, a piece of black flip flop, but that's the way it goes and it's been uh, enjoyable in a weird kind of way. Um, but the conditions have started to look a lot more favorable for fishing on the bottom. A bit of a breeze has picked up, it's a bit cloudier. Um, and they are starting to fizz in the water in front of me. Um, so I found a nice little zone. It's only just under 50 yards out, 10 feet deep, and it's uh, sort of sandy silt. It's absolutely perfect uh, for putting three solid bags out. Now, when I'm starting a session, I certainly don't want to just absolutely hammer a load of bait in um, before you get going. You can kill the swim long before um, you've started. And it's a great way just to sort of like build the foundations um, for the session, because if you can nick one, just sort of trickle a little bit of bait in, um, then hopefully, you know, a couple more uh, will soon follow suit. So we we'll start with three solid bags, but I am gonna put just sort of four to six spots in, just a bug crumb, uh, 12 and 15 millers, pellet and sweet corn, and I'm gonna absolutely lace it with the bug spot. Now, that liquid is an absolute battle winner. It's such a thick, heavy liquid, and it really helps get your free offerings down to the bottom. And what it does, is it puts almost like a carpet of smell down for the fish to home in on and you know I go through gallons and gallons and gallons of the stuff um, and I'm absolutely convinced that it puts more fish on the bank for me and I certainly wouldn't be without it. So yeah that's the plan hopefully we can uh, pick up a couple this evening before it gets dark but um, I'm really really confident um, through the night hours so we'll see how we get on and I'll catch up with you guys in a little while.
Well, good morning. It's very, very early morning. It's just gone half past three. But we are off of the mark. Only a little fella, just under 19 pounds. But uh, it's nice to have one on the board since we did manage to lose one uh, about an hour before this. I'm not going to bother putting the rods back out now. I'm going to wait till first flight, grab an hour's kit and uh, get everything reset in an hour or so once it's fully light. But yeah, happy to be up and running. Going to get a couple of photos and put it back. Well, the idea of uh, not casting back out lasts all of about five minutes. It's a good thing we didn't because check him out. What an absolutely beautiful fish that is. Just a little over 23 pounds. And I suppose it's one of those sort of mirror uh, common hybrid fully scale badgers. But uh, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with that one. Uh, though I admit it, I'm absolutely dead tired, but I am going to put at least one rod back out. So when there's uh, fish like this swimming around, you want to make the most of the opportunity. So for now, as always, a couple of photos and uh, yeah. I don't think there's going to be much chance of getting any sleep tonight. The fish are super active. And here is number three, 26 pounds and 11 ounces. Lovely, lovely clean fish. Once again, coming from a recast solid bag. <sighs> it's hard work trying to find the, uh, the effort to muster to put uh, the bag back out there. Like I said, they're super active out there. So once the fish are in the zone feeding, I'm certainly going to make the most of this. A couple of snaps and put this one back. gleaming result that was catching those three fish last night I certainly wasn't expecting it the fish are very very close to spawning um, and I thought that we might you know nick one and I half expected to wake up this morning and see thrashing everywhere um, in the snags and in the margins but that's not the case um, they are well up off the bottom now though so all the rods have been wound in off the bottom and I'm just gonna fish with two zigs today um, it'd be completely pointless fishing on the bottom it's probably not gonna happen um, and to be honest, I'm not really expecting to catch one on the zig. They are grouping up for spawning. Um, so if we do get one, it'll be um, a, bit, a bit of a result. Um, but I am going to use this opportunity just to get sort of 10 to 12 spots back out onto the spots um, ready for tonight. We are due a little bit of uh, wind and rain later, that's, so that should um, curtail things for a little while. But tomorrow is going to be bright sunshine. Um, so I am expecting them to, to go tomorrow and I'll be packing up and heading home if that's the case. So we're going to maximise the opportunity we've got now. Um, get that spot mix out and then I need to sort out the car crash that is my solid bag here um, It's just uh, everywhere and it looks like a teenager's bedroom on top of my tackle box at the minute So yeah, I'm gonna get some solid bag tied and uh, more importantly drink a bit more uh, coffee because I'm absolutely dead tired I don't mind telling you I'll probably end up having a nap this afternoon But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the morning and I'll catch up with you guys in a little while
zig fishing weather. Well guys, as predicted, absolutely nothing's happened since we last spoke. We had a really, really heavy thunderstorm and as soon as the uh, the rain passed, the fish were back up in the upper layers when the sun came out and they were just completely disinterested. So took the opportunity, wound in and I just decided to rest the swim. It can do you a lot of good to just remove all of that angling pressure um, from your swim. It's done me well in the past and hopefully it'll do me uh, do me some good tonight. So I went to see my friend James, he's a few swims up, had a chat and uh, it was a nice little sort of catch up and just taking care of little bits of admin really, you know, all those um, little bits that you don't really get the opportunity to do, tie some rigs and just sort of have a general tidy up of a tackle box, which is um, weirdly satisfying when you can just take everything out and put it back again. Um, but yeah, so we're coming up to sort of seven o'clock now and I've just put the rods back out. Three solid bags over the top of that bait, um, which we put out this morning. And I'm really, really confident that we're gonna get another opportunity tonight because they were all over me last night. And I don't see any reason why they won't return knowing that that food's there. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can bag a chunk tonight and if not, it's been nice to just get up for longer than sort of like 12, 14 hours, which I've been restricted to of late. And um, yeah, so let's see how we go on tonight. I'll catch up with you guys in a little while.
one morning. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I did lose one during the night, unfortunately, to a snag to my right hand side, but we did get a nice one to finish this session. It's 25 pounds and I can't remember how many ounces, it doesn't really matter. Nice, chunky fish, it gave me one hell of a scrap. Um, playing it into the morning sunrise. And yeah, it's a perfect way to finish off this session. So, we're gonna get a couple of snaps done, put him back and uh, sit off for home, because these fish are not <laughs> gonna be long in the teeth before they start spawning. Well that's it for this one guys, it's certainly been another enjoyable session, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to click the like and subscribe button, it's really going to help out the channel a ton. I'll see you on the bank very very soon.